Hello everyone, welcome to the Love Boxing Channel. Today's fight is Sergio Martinez against Paul Williams. Williams won first fight by decision. Martinez was determined to win the rematch. Watch this video till the end guys and see what happened. Let's watch. This is good. Touch gloves and good luck. Good luck. With nothing. The rematch. Paul Williams, Sergio Martinez. Let the ride begin as Williams throws the first punch. I'm surprised that Williams is coming out so fast. Sometimes he's a slower starter. But like his last fight with Kermit Centron. He's coming out and to me he's neutralizing the plans of Martinez because he's been the most aggressive and Martinez was supposed to be the aggressor. It looks like it's going to be a very well willing. One of the biggest mistakes I had in the first fight I thought that Williams made was he started punches too far back and Martinez took advantage of by counter punching. But in this fight here it seems Martinez ducks away from that right hook. Williams trying to get a little jab working. Point of round one. Lancing left by Martinez. Looks like Martinez, great exchange. This is what Martinez said he wanted was to be more aggressive and try to use his shorter arm, give him a chance to get into his groove of being aggressive. As Williams started challenging him right away. A right and a left by Martinez on the inside. Williams holding. Martinez punching. In this fight so far than in early in the first fight. Slapping left from Williams. Maybe because they're coming at each other and so there's just not a lot of room. Side. Martinez has landed some clean punches, but uh, to me, if I was scoring, I'd give the fight round to Williams. And the way it's going, it looked like the fight is going more towards Williams' advantage. Martinez come out and do exactly what he had planned to do was McCrad and Williams, you know, short punches, keeping a distance where his short arms would be more effective. But I don't know if he's going to be able to sustain that for the rest of the fight at the tempo the way that Williams is going. Because Williams is used to fighting at this type of a tempo more so than Martinez. Martinez more of a thinking type fighter. That exchange gets a rise out of the crowd here in Atlantic City. Now Williams is starting to connect with clean shots. I break. Good left ten. Oh. And down goes right. Williams. Thank you, the right hand. Right hand. Williams through the left. Williams down. He's not getting up, guys. He's not getting up. Eight, nine, ten. That is the knockout of the year, if nothing else. A sensational, shocking punch. And that's the worst punch in the world, a punch you don't see. Medical staff attending to Paul Williams. Hey, right, we're going to take a look at how it ends. Yeah. Williams throws a left, but Martinez beats him with the left. Shorter punch, yeah, I thought it was a right hook. Shorter, shorter punch. And you know, this is what's so strange about boxing and so great about boxing. Williams was fighting the perfect fight, doing everything right. And just one punch out of nowhere changed the whole result. He never saw the punch. Martinez's left got there first. And Williams was out from the moment the punch hit him. Here's Michael Buffer. Martinez is one of my favorite boxers. Despite the fact that he cannot be called a puncher, in this fight he made the knockout of the year. Thank you for watching till the end guys. I hope you enjoyed this fight. If so, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Take care.